Hey there, it's Stephanie from Janku, and today I want to show you a really cool trick I found on Inkscape. If you go to Extensions, uh, if you go to Generate from Path and go to Interpolate, this little guy allows us to take different objects or paths and transform or fill in the space between with a transition as, as though the shapes are transforming into one another. And if you want to learn more, Inkscape actually does have tutorials. If you go to help and you go to tutorials, uh, you can learn more about interpolate right here, Inkscape interpolate. Let me go back. We're going to start off with a square in a circle. And the way I do it, I just use the square tool hit control. Because previously I was using the square to make a circle, it has rounded edges. I'm just going to straighten those out with this node tool. And then I'm going to take the circle tool and I'm hitting down control while I'm creating this circle just to get a perfect circle. It's not necessary. I'm just I wanted to keep the proportions pretty similar. I'm going to just click on the square. It's pretty large. Let's change it to um, make sure it's locked to keep the proportions. Um, I'm going to change it to 500. And I'm going to go here, click on the circle and change that width to 500. And again, if the lock is locked, that means that it will keep the proportions and it will change the height proportionally to the object. Okay, so we got them both here. And I'm gonna leave a little space between the two and I'm going to make sure that they're centered on the same horizontal plane. So I'm going to go to Align and dis Distribute. I'm going to select the Center on Horizontal Axis. There we go. I like these colors, so I left those objects there. And I'm gonna to go to the Fill and Stroke. I'm going to select the Eyedropper tool while I have the current circle selected. And I'm going just to pull that color right off. Okay, so let's zoom in a little bit. Now we have these two different objects. We wanna make sure that Inkscape knows that these are paths. So we're going to go over to the path menu and we're going to select object to path. And that's while you have the shape selected. So I'm going to go back over to the circle and I'm going to do the same thing. Path menu, go to object to path. If you click on it, you'll see now that there's four different nodes on both of them. Perfect. So we have everything we need in order to interpolate. I'm going to take the node tool and I'm going to select the square and I'm going to hold down shift and select the circle. Now let's go up to extensions. We're going to go to generate from path and we're going to select interpolate or interpolate. Okay. So it comes up with this menu. And before making any applications, what we can do is we can see a live preview and play around with these different numbers and see what we get. So I'm going to select live preview. And with the current settings, this is kind of the visual we get. It's pretty cool. It takes the colors and blends them and it also takes the shapes and changes them. If you unselect interpolate style, it won't take the colors and blend them. It will just take, I guess in this case, the right object and continue using it until it gets to the left. I'm going to reduce the number of steps to five. Let's try four. So let's look at the exponent field. And what I'll do here is I will increase the exponent by 0.2. So previously, these objects were equidistant. But once you increase the exponent, they start shifting a little bit toward the other object. So if you notice, the square is a lot farther from this square 
then the circle is from the next circle. You can go to the Bezier tool and generate all sorts of shapes and colors and use interpolate to fill in the space between with a transition of shapes from one to the other. So that concludes this video. Tune in next Wednesday. I'll have a new Inkscape video with new tips and tricks. Feel free to comment below if you have any questions or different ways to use this interpolate function. Have a great day.